to not sugarcoat it, that's what we are. We, we have to play that type of football. We are going to have to pound. We're going to have to keep the ball in our hands, and we're going to have to run the clock, and we're going to have to wear opponents out. It's not fancy, and it's not pretty, but smash mouth football is just fine with those in Triopia country. The Trojans approached 2013 while making a slight shift in philosophy. Rich Thompson's group is moving away from the quote-unquote big plays they enjoyed from time to time last year and instead pushing forward with a core of players built on brute strength. We're a lot bigger than we were last year. We don't have the speed like we had with Derek Shoney, but we got Parker. He's a big, fast guy for his size, and he'll lower your shoulder and hit you, and just like Dean, he'll do the same thing. Well, we're just going to try to keep pounding the ball, pounding the ball, so we can just keep the ball out of the other guy's hands, just like burn up the clock as best as we can. Matt Parker and Dean Arndt fit the bill of power rushing for this team, but what opponents may notice first is that the offensive line fits the bill even more. We return a, a veteran group, even though a lot of them are still juniors. Um, that's probably our most experienced unit, and they're all ready to the point where they're talking so well in practice and understanding, uh, understanding what each other's going to do, and that gives the backs a lot of confidence and our quarterback confidence in, in those guys. Don't forget, the Trojans have a wealth of big game experience to build from as well. In fact, this team's catalyst for success in 2013 may have happened last season in a week six loss to Central Southeastern. I think the seniors really brought us together and they, uh, you know, they said we got to change something and practice turned around and everything. And uh, that's, and honestly, I believe full heartedly, uh, we don't, if we lose, that, if we don't lose that game, we don't go as far. They really showed us like what it's like to be good winners and be leaders. Teach us how to play football, right? And hopefully now they are the ones to be those type of leaders and, and make the other guys understand that's the kind of commitment we're looking for. The Trojans know the demand of a WIVC schedule, so there won't be any looking ahead from this team. But the fact remains, even though the playbook may look a little different, Triopia's ceiling is remarkably high once again. Every team on our schedule is hard. You know, there are no games where you can walk in thinking you're going to blow anybody out. So we, we come to practice every day and work our butts off knowing that everybody else is going to be great. I think it's come along really well, actually.